Fellows, AC here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm going to talk about Hermes Equipage. This was released in 1970, fellas, and the perfumer. Yeah, and this one is Guy Robert. This is no ordinary scent. In fact, this is so good that uh, there's a fragrance which is being hyped at the moment. Uh, Nikolai New York Intense. New York Intense basically copies this. So that's why I think this is quite an important review because this one is half the price of New York Intense. Now, these sort of fragrances, Fuge is a category, but this one is a special type of Fuge because it doesn't use lavender. These are brilliant for our kind of spring, the kind of spring we get in Europe. It's sometimes cold, sometimes a little bit warmer. This is, today is a warmer day. It's about 19 degrees. And, you know, that's the time when you want to wear something which is close to nature. So this one is classified as a woody aromatic, spicy woody aromatic. How does it start off? Now, this one starts off a little bit like an old-fashioned fougere wood, very spicy. Aldehydic, spicy, slightly old school, almost old mannish, but it changes. It does a course correction. So... Initially, when you spray, you will get something which is associated with oak moss, spicy, damp, earthish, yeah, and soapy because of pine. And then you get a little burst of spicy aldehydicness. Aldehydes, as you know, it was used heavily in the fragrance of the last century, so it basically is very bright, sunny, and spicy, and slightly earthy. That's how it starts off. It is also slightly old-fashioned because of a floral note, carnation, and oak moss. Oak moss is probably, this is a new formulation, so I imagine the oak moss has been stripped off all its um, harmful aroma chemicals, molecules, I should say. So that's how it starts off, slightly old school. But I think the fun with the fragrance starts after about half an hour. That's when the whole thing settles down and it brings in a beautiful, very natural smelling, concoction. So the things that strike me most are lemony brightness. So there's lemon and orange. This is about 45 minutes. So lemony brightness, aldehyde, orange with vetiver, slight hint of vetiver and two spices which are still working together, still developing and that's cinnamon and sage. Sage is more prominent than cinnamon. And nutmeg so very nutmeg has this quality of brightening things up yeah so this is a bright spicy at the moment and vetiver just makes an appearance but the lemony vetiver is what I like the most this stage 45 minutes on half an hour on after about two or three hours the fragrance changes again and it becomes slightly woodier so they've used ebony wood here which is a quite smooth woody note so it's very smooth bright, spicy, and lemony, yeah? The fragrance becomes slightly darker, and if you wear it in cold weather, it becomes even more darker. That's because oak moss tends to smell like that, along with carnation. There are two florals here. It's a fuja, so it'll have a floral heart. Two big florals, well, one big floral, really, carnation. And the other one is uh, Lily of the Valley, which I never get. There's also supposed to be vanilla in here. I don't get it. I do get patchouli, I do get vetiver, I do get musk. That's supposed to be in the base, along with oak moss. So it gets slightly darker, woodier, and deeper, right? The soapiness of the fragrance is maintained throughout, but it's always well um, sort of controlled. It's not a soapy, soapy fragrance. And that soapiness comes from pine. There's a big pine here. In about half an hour, you smell the pine, the freshness. So it's very fresh spicy, bright, woody fragrance initially. Then it becomes spicy, woody, slightly dark fragrance towards its dry down. Very masculine, beautifully made, natural smelling, yeah? So pros and cons. Number one pro, when you smell this, you know that you're smelling a complex fragrance and it is got the qualities of a very high quality niche fragrance. It's very natural smelling, yeah? So it's almost niche in quality. I'm, I'm saying that well advised. So it doesn't smell like a designer, it doesn't smell like a 1970s design. It smells like a very well-made niche fragrance with a lot of complexity, at least two evolutions. So that's number one, natural smelling complex fragrance. 
Number two, it's a proper masculine and it's been modernized. Yeah, this is a modern iteration. So it's a modern masculine. The initial spray will lead you to believe that you're smelling a 1970s fragrance, but that goes away after the first half an hour. So it's very modernized masculine. A lot of people look for modernized masculine because not everybody wants to wear sweet fragrances all the time, right? So it will fit the bill for those people who really like fragrances like Bois de Portugal, uh, Abit Rouge. It's like that, you know, it's got this lemony character. I also smell a hidden note of leather. If I didn't know better, I would have said there's leather in this fragrance. Not in the notes breakdown I've seen, but there is a very oily leather here which makes its uh, appearance after about two hours, you'll smell it in the dry down. So there is very masculine leather in this fragrance, not according to the notes. Now, the third one is the value for money. See, I told you, it smells a lot like, I should say Nikolai's New York Intense smells a lot like this, but it costs you 170 for 100 ml. This one, if you look around, you'll get it for about 70 to 85 pounds. So I'd say the value for money is pretty high. For a fragrance this complex, natural smelling, uh, the kind of complexity there is, I, it's a very good value for money fragrance. Downsides. Number one downside is the opening. The opening will put off a lot of people who are only used to modern designer fragrances. That will put, put you off. But half an hour, you have to brave it for half an hour. And then you'll see that this is basically like one of the most hyped fragrances at the moment. So the opening can be a bit of a challenge because it, it it's very full-on and it's very spicy and old-fashioned the number two uh, would be the performance see the, this thing performs for about six hours six to seven hours on my skin max it projects for the first hour the best part of the fragrance is hour number two to hour number four that's the meat of the fragrance it really smells amazing very very good classy old school classy so performance can be a problem because, you know, when you buy something like this, which is called a masculine, you expect it to be a powerhouse. This is not a powerhouse. So those are the two downsides, I would say. Seasons. This smells the best in spring. I've sprayed it in every weather, in summer, winter, autumn. It smells the best in spring. So in, in spring, when you want to wear something masculine to work, and because it's so classy smelling, it's the best season. It also smells very well in summer but I think going to be the best time to wear this is in spring. Occasions. This is a daytime fragrance. Although if you like it so much, you can wear it nighttime as well. Um, I would say the best places to wear this is office, daytime, outdoors, because it's an outdoorsy, foresty, you know, salt of the earth kind of smell. Uh, there's a soapy dirtiness to it. Yeah, there's soapiness of pine. There's this leather, which I talked about, the mystery note, the hidden note which is slightly dirty, slightly oily. So it's that kind of a workman kind of a scent. It's hidden, it doesn't come across, but if you really sit down and focus, you'll smell it. So outdoorsy, this is an outdoorsy fragrance. Age groups, mature, 35 plus, 30 plus, yeah? But if you like New York Intense, because it's hyped, everybody likes hyped fragrances, you will see, just test it. If you can get a decan, just test it, you'll see for yourself. After about one hour, this starts smelling like New York Intense. So, you know, for half the price, you're smelling something which is one of the most high fragrances. So, marks overall, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because of oh, sort of mediocre performance and that first half an hour where it is a little bit challenging. So, 8 out of 10, very good and limited variability. So, I, I don't think you'll be able to pull this off in winter or autumn. So, six months in a year limited variability. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Hope you like the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.